this video I'm going to show you how to create a website rather than a blog. Uh, by default when you install WordPress it's always set as a blog and we're going to convert that into a website and so to do that we can log into our admin panel I'm using the default 2010 theme, but basically all themes are, are uh, most of the new ones that are typically the same thing. They just look different with different colors, but the procedure would be the same uh, to create the static page pages for the website. So what we do is go into pages and add new. Uh, by default you only have one right now. Uh, if I can go into pages. By default you only have one but we can add a new one here and call it home. you can add your content here and then publish now that we have a pub home page we're going to create another one and basically all business sites or websites they do have a part page uh, a home page a contact us page And uh, you might want to have one for services. So we go on create a new one and call it services. And have content for services here. publish and since uh, you can create as many pages as you want and we can see those pages now here and I've created four pages for right now but you can create whatever you want how many pages you want now to make your home page a static page we need to go into readings and as it is right now the front page is the latest post but we're going to go for a business site or a website rather than a blog so we select static page and on a drop down those pages that you created you would be all of them down here you can make any one of them your home page front page and typically people do always make a home page name it home first page leave it open as it is you don't need to put anything down there and a full text and save now 
now if we look on the website we should have home page that we just created and then you will have a about page contact us page and services page uh, the other thing you could do is uh, if you don't want the sidebars here that we can go into admin again and create template for your pages and they should be the one when create a custom template and put it in a template in the themes folder and then you would go on the pages and say for example home page you would have a template as it is right now we're using a default template and 2010 theme just comes with two templates we can use custom templates and put one on there so if we can go with one column no sidebar and update and the home page will not have sidebars on it the sidebar is gone so you just have a home page about that wide with the content on there uh, the other thing I want to show you on this video is uh, creating custom menu uh, you might want to create some more pages and then put them in a sub page so we go into appearance and menus and create a menu set top menu and you'll have all your pages down here and you can just tick them and add them to the menu so you have all four pages down here select top menu here and save this and to create a sub pages like right now the home is down here we can just drag it and put it wherever you want uh, you can have a part page after home page you have services and contact us if you want to have sub pages down here then you can create some more pages add them to the menu and say for example I'm take contact us for services and I'm going to make it a sub page of services and then save menu now if you go on the site and check it out you would have just three pages but a service page would have a sub page and it says contact page and you can have sub menus down here i hope this video has helped you how to create a website rather than a blog